here's a new set of motors from RC and Power. These are the Mark 1 2550KV. I just got this in from uh, RC and Power, so thanks RC and Power for sending them in for testing and uh, review so I can show it to you guys. So they come in this uh, box, and not only in this box, but in this fancy case. It almost looks like it could be used for carrying your sunglasses. Nice uh, hard rubberized case with the zipper. So it's one of the fanciest packagings I've seen. Uh, silica gel for dryness and the four motors. And they give you some uh, screws of two different lengths. It looks like a M3 by 5 and M3 by 8. So the motors come in this uh, case. Uh, dense foam. And that's how they come. So four motors. Alright, so let's look at the motor. It looks like they went with the traditional style. As you can see, the base is a full-size base. They didn't go with the naked bottom. They did use a shaft retaining screw, and it's one of those beefy ones. So it's, it doesn't use the 1.5 millimeter keys. It's just the uses a regular. Uh, it looks like I think it's that's a, a two millimeter key. So that's good. It's going to be easy to remove. Uh, so not that many chances of uh, rounding that screw. And the mounting pattern, uh, the whole mounting pattern, looks like it's a 19 by 16. So that's another one of the traditional uh, features uh, for the motor. And uh, uh, they're using these veins, uh, according to them, that's for active cooling. So that moves air when the bell is rotating, is spinning. So that moves air through the stator and the shaft, the propeller shaft is integrated into the bell cap and it does have the uh, inserted the steel shaft that goes through the motor as well. So it's one of those hybrid uh, shafts. And one thing that you can notice is that uh, uh, the design looks very similar to the 1506 that I also recently tested from RCM Power. As you can see, it uses those kind of like a, a three-spoke pattern. So it's actually a nice design. I like how it looks. And that's the nylock they give you. So it's a full-size nylock. It's not one of those uh, low-profile ones. And they're generous with the amount of wire they give you. This is 200 millimeters worth of wire. So with 200 millimeters of wire, that's a... Uh, 38.9 and if we're to cut the wires to 50 millimeters we get rid of that much wire so it's quite a lot actually and that's 3.3 grams so a considerable amount that you would get rid of uh, by shortening the wires of course two, uh, 200 is quite a lot so let's uh, let's tear that So with the shorter wire, the motor would be 35.5. So a bit on the heavy side, most uh, lightweight 2306 motors are about 32 grams or so, 32.5. So this one's about uh, 3 grams over. So, And I, uh, that's probably due to the, the full base they're using. Alright, so I'm going to remove the retaining screw pretty easy to get it loose and we'll crack this open and check it out under the magnifying glass it's a nice and big screw and good thing they didn't use the really hard Loctite go let's have a closer look all right so here's a close-up of the bell and there's the four millimeter shaft and it, it is not hollow so it's only hollow where the thread is so it's solid all the way through and as you can see those are arc magnets and 
the bell ring does have a little bit of a lip right there so that's going to help keep the magnets in place so pretty nice chunky magnets pretty good density and there's one thing to notice there is uh, some kind of rubber uh, washer there and from reading the literature on the motor uh, they're saying that's going to help uh, dampen some of the vibrations that some motors produce so that's just some sort of dampening washer there so let's see how that works as you can see they went with the nice bearing that's the 4x9x4 four by by four. so that's a good thing those bearings have proven to be durable and most people prefer those bearings there's the stator as you can see very nice and neat windings single strand wire the laminations, uh, I believe those are 0.15 laminations, so that's another one of the modern features of uh, motors these days. And the stator height is cut at 6 millimeters, so nominal uh, 6 millimeters, so no surprises there. Now let's see if we can get a look at the air gap. It is pretty tight not extremely tight but it, it's it's fairly tight so that should uh, make for good power uh, it's gonna be hard to see because of the full base but I'll get as close as possible there so there we go that's the RC in power SP mark 1 2206 2550 kV motor so we'll screw this back together I'll put a little bit of Loctite and uh, time this and we'll put it on the thrust stand and see how it does All right, so here are the thrust test results for the RC in power Mark 1 2306 2550 kV. Now this motor came in at 2570, so 20 kV higher than spec, so that's not too bad. Uh, based on that kV, I went ahead and tested on 3S, 4S, and 5S. As usual, the 5 inch props I use, the 5045 uh, Gen Fan, pretty impressive uh, numbers at 1500. Then uh, the HQ 5043 by 3 on 5S, pretty impressive uh, 2100 uh, grams at uh, 59.6 amps. Even though this amp number seems quite high, you have to keep in mind that these are static thrust. Uh, once flying the prop is going to unload and this amp number is going to go way down so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, usually 35 and even 40 percent lower as the prop gets moving through the air uh, it unloads so it's not able to grab as much air so the amp numbers are going to come down so 59.6 is going to be about 35 amps in the air once you apply the unloading effect 
that's still quite manageable. These are burst amps, quite impressive at 2.1 kilograms. And on 4S, uh, also pretty good at uh, 1544. Uh, then we go on to the uh, more aggressive props, 1600 for the 4 blade, uh, 1633 for the 5045 by 3 and even more aggressive ones, Dow uh, C5046, 1679, and uh, the 5045 by 3 VYS, uh, same as the uh, Dow 5045 by 3 V2, uh, it's the same prop, uh, so 1714, over 1700 grams. Uh, then we move on to the 5.5 and 6 inch props. So approaching two kilograms here and uh, breaking the two kilogram mark with the 6045 and 6040. So again, impressive uh, performance out of this motor. So it's going to be a quite uh, powerful motor to use in your build. All right, there you have it. That was the test results for the RC Power Mark 1 2306 2550 kV. Quite a powerful motor from RC Power. So hope you find the data useful. Thanks for watching. Until the next video.